What's going on, David Dreamers? This is Mathras, aka Dig the Dreams, and we have a first round of the uh, uh, what is it? The DBL ORAS Farewell Tournament, which is our basically the last hurrah for Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire. And of course, my first opponent in the UU tournament is my good friend Area Don, the uh, commissioner of the Delta Battle League, as you probably know if you are a fan of this channel at all. Okay, so he's got probably the Mega Aerodactyl, the Blissey, the Hydreigon. Lucario, Ty Rantrum, and Cofagrigus. Very, very cool. Bringing up the the uh, Ty Rantrum from, of course, BL2 and the Cofagrigus from RU. And let me go ahead and close this so it doesn't start making noise. Uh, I am, of course, bringing my Houndoom, Mega Houndoom, Toxicroak, Frostlass, Tentacruel, Gligar, and Porygon Z, which is kind of like a um, hazard stack. Uh, almost kind of offense, but kind of balanced too, because I do have the core here, Tentacruel and Gligar. And his best hazard removal is not really existent. I think Aerodactyl and Hydreigon maybe gets Defog, but I don't think that that's not very typical for either of them to run. Uh, so I am going to leave Frost last here for sure. It's my dedicated lead on this team as he does side to lead Lucario. I think I just want to Thunder Wave this thing immediately. I do outspeed, he can't extreme speed me or anything. Is Taunt my better play? I don't think so, I think Thunder Wave's my best play. As he gets fully paralyzed on turn one. And so it begins. And I'm just gonna go for the spikes now. I'm afraid he's gonna set up a sword dance or something, I guess. But I do have the focus sash. Yeah, let's hope it stops there. I don't want I don't want that to be that much uh, hacks in this game. I would I don't want that to be the way that I get through this. All right, decided to go Blissey. I'm just gonna taunt this thing right off the bat. Don't want this thing setting up stealth rocks or anything like that. Heal bell, definitely not. Not heal bellin heal heal billin that Lucario at all. As I'm just gonna keep getting my spikes up. As in comes a Tyrantrum. This thing could also be. Uh, could also be uh, Choice Scarf, perhaps. I almost want to Ice Beam, though. Almost want to Ice Beam. I also almost want a Thunder Wave. But he does have that, uh, he does have um, a Heal Bell in the back. So I don't need to be wary of that. And I do only have, pretty much my Toxic Croak is actually pretty much the only thing that can really stop that Blissey. Uh, I do have taunt on this, obviously, which would be why I would save it. I might want to just go right into Gligar, yeah. Oh, he actually doubles into Lucario. Interesting. That's okay with me, though, because I can just go for an Earthquake. I do outspeed, and it's going to live on one. And it does have the Ice Punch, but I'm able to live it. And he actually goes down to the Life Orb. And could we see? I don't think Blissey would come in. I guess, I guess uh, Kalfagrigus or Hydreigon would probably be his switches here. And I don't really have that safe a switch into those. I guess Tentacruel, but like, those are definitely some threats right there. This Hydreigon is going to come out. I can't, uh, I cannot hit this thing. Do I want to just get my Stealth Rock up? Just get that damage? It might be important. This thing is also important though. Do I want to sack Tentacruel though? I guess... No, I don't really want to sack Tentacruel at all. Alright, we saw that's Life Orb. So a possible choice Scarf is our Tyrantrum in this thing. And my Porygon... Would outspeed the Tyrantrum, but not the Hydreigon. Which is, Porygon is also my Scarfer. 
All right, let's see how Tentacruel does with this. All right, takes that fairly well. Takes that pretty well, especially with the Black Sludge recovery. I almost want to double into Toxic Croak predicting the Blissey. I also want to just Scald and get a burn though. <laughs> don't want to be that guy though. Uh, I could try doubling the Gligar, that's kind of risky though. He could just drop a Draco right here. For all I know. Wait, did we see? We saw a Life Orb. Okay, that's good to know. Because that means my, ch my Scarf Porygon does outspeed this thing now. And we, I'm guessing his Tyrantrum would be his choice Scarfer in that situation then. Which is great because that means my Porygon outspeeds his whole team. And uh, that's gonna be nice. I, does it have to be there? Yeah, it's got to have to be an Aerodactyl. Aerodactyl. Again, Aerodon, Aerodactyl. Oh god, this is such a tough switch. <laughs> My Frostlass does outspeed. Alright, I'm gonna go Frostlass. Earth Power, we don't exactly eat it up, but we take it. And yeah, I think we're just gonna ice beam. Ice beam honestly hits everything. I'm not really scared of the Blissey switching at all. All right, he does love that and is gonna finish me off. But he's at a very weak point right now. And I don't know if I wanna go into Porygon because that kind of baits in the, the Blissey. Now let's go Porygon. Uh, I don't mind the Blissey coming in because I have pretty safe switches into that. I could go Tentacruel or Gligar, I think, pretty easily. He could be running the Ice Beam, but that's why I think I'll go Tentacruel before anything else. I don't want to trick it either because I want to keep on hold on to this Choice Scarf. All right, we do take out the Hydreigon, which is nice because that thing is a threat. That thing, at the range that my Tentacruel is at, if it started dropping Dracos, I probably would not have been able to keep taking the hits, especially since it was packing the Earth Power. Uh, but that uh, does mean, uh, okay, Tyrantrum comes in. Does resist this. Do I want to double the Gligar? I think so. Goes for the head smash. Oof, that does so much. That does so much. <laughs> Holy crap. I can't lose to, I, I don't know, I, I, I might have just lost the Aerodactyl right there. But I do still have Porygon. And I have Sucker Punch on Toxic Croak, that's going to be important. He misses. Oh, and I get a crit. Oh god. No. No. That's not how it's supposed to happen. That makes me real sad. I feel like he's just gonna murder me. But let's roost just in case he doesn't. Because Aerodactyl can't boost his speed at all, so there's no way that I, my Porygon can be outsped if he just has to start like Dragon Dancing or something. All right, just goes right for the Aqua Tail there. I feel like this thing can take a non-stab move from Porygon. I think just the damage on it though is gonna be important. Cause I still have Houndoom, that thing deals with the Configurus pretty well. And Toxic Croak deals with the Blissey pretty well. And I can Sucker Punch the Aerodactyl. So I think Porygon will be the play here. And Thunderbolt Ice Beam. 
no difference, really. <laughs> I'll just go for Thunderbolt. Alright, Blissey does come in. I am okay with that. Don't know if I want to go directly into Toxic Road. Do I? What is this thing going to do to me? Does, this thing does get Thunder Wave, doesn't it? Doubles and take a figure, I guess. I don't want to go right into Houndoom. That's really obvious. What if he doubles into Aerodactyl right now? If he doubles into Aerodactyl, I sack Tentacruel. If he goes for Focus Blast, I don't think that, yeah, this thing does not get Focus Blast. Okay, I go to Houndoom. I think this is my best play. As he does double into Aerodactyl, so I am forced to sack my Tentacruel. Damn, I knew he was gonna do that too, but I think this is still my best play. Goes for the Stone Edge. Tentacruel lives it. Not gonna live another one unless, of course, he misses, but I don't think he's going for it. Yeah, he's going for the Earthquake. For sure. That's not gonna go Porygon. <laughs> I do have to play this a little more carefully now since I don't have the switch into his Aerodactyl anymore. I, I don't have the sack. The question is does he predict me to double or does he just keep going to Blissey? He does switch to Blissey. I'm just gonna click Thunder Wave again. He's gonna double. <laughs> okay, he doesn't double. Seismic Toss. That's okay. I really want to predict him to switch now, though. I think I can afford to. Damn it, he still stays in. Oh. And he has the wish. switch here. He's not going to switch into Aerodactyl, is he? You could switch into Configurgus, though. For sure. Try to get that wish to it. Problem is, if I don't... If this isn't in while his Aerodactyl is in, then he gets a kill with it. <laughs> and if I lose Toxic Rook, then I lose to Blissey. Seismic Toss, okay. That I can deal with. Now, the question is is the, the coffee rig is too obvious? Should I double into Houndoom? I don't know. There's, there's too many doubles going on in this game. Uh, what are you doing to me, Arida? I need to calc this. <laughs> I need to. 
how much a sucker punch does to Aerodactyl and how much a gunk shot does to Configure Yes, because it's probably not much. Uh, Toxic Croak, you use Swords Dance versus Aerodactyl. Alright, I'm gonna put in Mega Aerodactyl. Sucker Punch is doing 3744. Alright, plus two. Alright, plus two. Sucker Punch does not KO, but a Drain Punch does. <laughs> I guess my best play is actually a double into Porygon. That way I can I'm, I'm in a good position against Aerodactyl and Cofigurgus if he does decide to pull a switch. And I'm not in that bad a position if he does stay in with the Blissey. Okay. Okay, Cofigurgus is inside. I'll do a double to Toxic Rogue again as he's gonna switch into Blissey. <sighs> Come on, switch into Blissey, switch into Blissey. Okay, alright. Damn it, <laughs> damn it, damn it, damn it. Uh, all these doubles just is too much. <sighs> going into Porygon again. Because I don't want to go into Houndoom and give him the chance to switch into Aerodactyl right here. Alright, he does just go for the Will O Wisp there. better right now. Okay, 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 okay. Get a crit. <laughs> Nasty plot on the protect. Hell yes. GG, he got me. GG, well played. Yeah, that was he got me. He had he had the right Pokemon that he needed, and I you know, there was a lot of doubles that I just that didn't go in my favor. Well played, already done. And uh, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, hopefully. I will do better in the OU and RU tournaments, and uh, oh, not a great start, but again, thanks for watching, and uh, keep dreaming, make sure to check out Ariadon, peace out.